stoked on that. Man, this pack. Holy crap. All the zigzagging paid off. I needed that. Oh my heck. What did I just walk onto? Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Shed Tour 2020 episode. It's a beautiful day, man. Like, we have clear skies. It's probably gonna warm up, but this morning and right now, it is still freezing cold. This is the last day of this trip. This is an area Martin and I worked yesterday. If you guys have missed the previous videos, you need to go check them out. They're really good videos. Tons of sheds, lots of pickups, um, but below us, Pretty soon, Martin and I will split up and work some of this terrain. We have two singles, brown singles. We didn't match yesterday. We'd like to find the match to those. Um, but for now, peaches and a Pop-Tart for breakfast. Let's go get some browns. Good morning, everybody. Like Eric said, welcome to the last day of this mini series of Shed Tour. We have had a epic week pretty much few days of shed hunting and we have high hopes for today I just dropped down into this draw to get out of the wind to um, say what's up to the camera because it's bad audio on those ridge lines we got our first brown of the day looks like it could be a different bowl than uh, anything we've seen looks like he's pretty nice and heavy Chunky boy down at base looks like he had an extra point that he broke off Going off his g2 there What the heck a little devil time action, but what a cool bowl and a great way To start the day haven't even got the Sun on us yet And we got a brown on the ground Let's pick her up. Oh, yeah pretty Pretty girthy right there at the base and chunky. Like I said, it looks like he would have had a pretty big um, little extra going off that G2. Dies out in the back. Definitely not the same bowl I picked up last night. So we have two chunky bowls up here that we got to match up now. I just got to see Martin's big old brown for the first time. And dang, that, that's a cool shed. He found it right in this canyon. Um, so here's the situation is in this canyon, Martin picked up two singles, no matches. And then in the canyon next to me to my west, uh, him and I both picked up a single with no matches. If all goes well, I think we can weed out a couple browns off this sunny side. It's really just gonna take gritting it big time. They're in here. Well, been looking for the match to the big brown I just picked up and I think we got a coos deer shed chalk and not big but a coos deer <laughs> check it out we do not find many of those oh, trying to walk with an antler on your back through this stuff is crazy I do not know how they do it holy crap all the zigzagging paid off I needed that. Dead center, guys. Big old heavy brown, it's a right side. I have fallen over more times in the last hour, two hours than I have in a long time. And I was starting to get down to Martin's elevation, which is the elevation I found a shed across the way, and Martin found a big, heavy brown. I think I just matched up Martin's bull. Oh, oh, oh man, yes. Martin's gonna be stoked. He's got a busted fifth and he had the same cheater on the third and it's broke. Let's get down there to it. Gosh, my oak brush brown. Finally found one in the oak brush. 
Yes. Got that same bladed third. And that point is chipped. Might be the only horn I find today, but I'll tell you what, it's the one we were looking for. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I love this bull, guys. It's just so flat and fat. This bull, out of all of them, has just got some of the coolest color. Yeah, guys, this thing has got some of the coolest color. Look at all the texture there. I love that. Here we go. Lunchtime. Got a good old can of bumblebee tuna salad. Comes with a little spoon. And then some crackers. Not my favorite crackers. I really wish these guys would would go to Ritz, you know. These cheapies, meh. I'm gonna drink me some Mountain Ops Ignite. This is that bugleberry flavor I've been using on this trip. Right now, I've, I've just got the one glassing over some country. I've kind of dropped a lot of elevation. I've pretty much been down to this elevation and almost to the top and then back down. Zigzagging up, zigzagging down. It saddens me to say it, but we are at the midday point and if we want to get back we have all day but we want to get back at a reasonable hour to where we can get camp out of here it's time to start wrapping it up i have three sheds glass one looks like a pretty big hard white below where i found the big set yesterday so i'm gonna loop high make one pass come down pick up that shed and go but i have two whites glassed in another canyon that's gonna have to be for another day, and they'll probably be chalk by then. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I just glassed a six point brown. It looks, you know, decent, kind of like the bulls we've been picking up. I walked right by him yesterday. It's just funny, you gotta get so many different angles. Like, we've got four different angles at some of these slopes, and then we'll pick out antlers at each, each angle. If you could see that big tree in the top right corner of the screen and you come left right there is where it is on our way over to the one I just glassed they could be a match I don't know I think one's a left and one this one is a right laying right in the wide open definitely glassable looks like some blood right there from when he dropped. You can see the blood. You can see the blood on the base right there. Well, there it is. Looks like a match. Has that little pointed down G1. Well, here I am to the shed I glassed. And it does look like it is a match set. Just kind of heavy and stubby in the back. And then this G1's kind of float down. Pretty funny that I'd stumble onto his match on the way over. Well, still doing work, looking for the uh, second beast. I didn't find the beast, but I think I matched up uh, Martin's first brown that we got in this canyon, right up above me. I'm gonna go snag it, and then I'm gonna get back right on my elevation and hit this same line. About dead center there. Focus, focus. Can you see it? No side-by-side -side sets in this stuff yet. Whew. Oh, sweet. Nice little brown. Heck yeah. Yeah. Martin's got the match to that one. Back to the pack we go. Holy crap. Gridness. As tight as possible. Dang it, I don't think it's the shed we're looking for. I got a right side up here. I really don't think it's the big heavy one. Good, but I wanted the big one so we can go home. Right there in the center. Oh, I don't think it is. That's not the bull we're after, but it's a nice brown. There's at least a right and a left on this ridge. Got a daddy long legs. Heck, we'll take it, but dang, give us the big boy. All right, making my way down to that right there. The shed I glassed up maybe an hour ago. 
looks pretty big. He's pretty low. We'll go down there, pick it up, and see. Check that out. Fresh running water right out of the, the ground. I bet you that's what that bull was doing because his antlers right there, other side of that oak. Looks like a lot of animals have been using this bottom to come in here and get drink. Fortunately for me, I should have enough water. Steep, steep slope. What do we got? Oh, definitely hard white from last year. Oh, he's big, but not as big. I knew his fronts weren't going to be the best in third, but a great back end in the wide open. Just spotted my first good white. God, it's about time. That's a good one. Heck yeah. Gosh, man, I came so close to this earlier today. Little old, little old, but a sweet one. Definitely worth packing out. I'm gonna leave that right here, go get my pack, and then snag this one on the way out. But what a, what a nice one. Right there, where it's really starting to get a little pink and a little chalky. Back end's all chewed up. The main beam and the fifth is chewed up, but it is chalk, but man, it's got enough weight to probably pack out of here. Big old heavy fronts, nice burr, I mean, dished out. We're almost to the top, guys, so we're gonna carry that sucker out. Well, I'm gonna say this real quick while it's on my mind, but today I can't help but think, like, Martin and I are a dang good team when it comes to this. Great communication. We both have that get after it attitude. And uh, kind of funny when it came came to hiring Martin, him and I had been friends long before hiring him. And we were at the gym together just getting a workout and I was like, yeah, Hush is, Hush is right there. About ready to hire someone to, to really help, help film me and help cut my videos. And I told him, man, I was really looking for someone who's professional and has some really good experience to make my videos edited and look really cool. And Martin's like, I'll do it. And uh, just sharing this with you guys, I didn't, I didn't think, I didn't think Mark, Martin was the the person for the job. But once I got thinking about it, I was like, Martin is in shape. We have the same lifestyle. He'll go wherever I go. He'll go even further than where I go. And he can learn all those things I want him to do. And really, what I thought was like, it does not matter. Like our videos are cut good. We use good quality cameras. We try to make good audio. It, su it sucks when it's wind. But when it comes down to it, I needed someone that would just go with me, and that was Martin for sure. So I hope you guys appreciate what he brings to the channel and the brand. I sure do, because when we get home, he takes all the footage and cuts these. Sometimes we help each other out, but he, he is doing most of the work when it comes to editing and uploading these. So tell Martin thanks. Let him know in the comments if you guys enjoy what he's bringing to the channel. Uh, show him some love. All right, almost to the tracks. We just parked it at the road. But uh, I tracked a little over eight miles. I'm sure Martin did more like nine or 10 yeah. miles, eight and a half hours. Yeah, it was a Something big day, like that. whole day. So five, five each. Got a couple uh, sets matched up. Heck yeah, man. That are back at camp. We missed out on the big, heavy, chunky monkey. We missed out on my big six a few days ago, but try to save some time because if we can get to the closest town and find a burger, that would be nice. Well, we're loaded up, it's time to get out of here. The tracks is doing all the work. Thank you, Can-Am. Thank you, Apache 360. Super stoked on just being able to get in here with these things. So for anyone interested, this is the Can-Am Outlander. This is the 570 V-Twin EFI. And honestly, it's more than enough, um, but maybe next time we'll get an even bigger one, like the 800 or the 1000. Sorry about the wind. We're just gonna load up and bomb out of here, guys. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we made it home. Man, that's a long, long, long drive. Oh my gosh. 
How is that humanly possible? What a trip, man. That was so fun. Guys, that was fun. Um, we are gonna cut this video off here. Just to end the trip, I wanna say thanks for watching. We really hope you enjoy the videos. We really love making videos and sharing it with you guys. One, so you guys can just simply be entertained, and two, hopefully you guys feel inspired and motivated to get outdoors more. So we're checking out. I got the truck running because the last time I stopped it, it didn't wanna start. So I think I might have fuel problems with the old Chevy. But no worries, we made it home, we're safe. We're gonna unload and uh, go eat. Every time we end the videos, we're probably like, we're just gonna go grub. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Let us know if you enjoyed this series. Put a comment down below. Let us know if you guys are enjoying Shed Tour 2020. And check out all our merchandise, like the gear he's wearing, the gear I'm wearing. It's all at gethushin.com. As usual, the link to the store and all our partners is in the description box. So, hope you guys are having a good one. We'll see you in the next video. Let's party, that guy's music. Mm -hmm.